So I'm just going to talk about uh, east and west directions and why it is completely incorrect to use the ruler tool in Google Earth to indicate the directions of east and west. Let's have a look at their definition. Definition of west. The direction towards the point of the horizon where the sun sets at the equinox on the left hand side of a person facing north. The definition of east. The direction towards the point of the horizon where the sun rises on the equinox on the right hand side of a person facing north. And another definition. East, a cardinal point of the compass 90 degrees to the right of north. Now that's important. It has to be 90 degrees to the right of north. Anything that is not 90 degrees to the right of north is no longer east. So when we come to our globe and we have a look at north, we're looking straight down the prime meridian there, which runs north. In fact, all these lines of longitude run north. The definition of east is 90 degrees to the direction of north. Okay, so these lines of latitude are running east and west. Running east and west. At no point are they crossing the equator. You'll see the lines of latitude are the lines that are running east and west. Now, if we take the Google ruler tool and we draw a line, even if we start at 90 degrees, it does not maintain that direction for very long. It changes direction. And you'll see by the time we come 90 degrees or one quarter of the way around the Earth, it will cross the equator. It's not even close to 90 degrees from north. Okay, you can see that. I'm going to look at uh, my one of my flight planning calculators. I'm going to actually calculate this exact same great circle line and you'll see precisely how the directions are changing. Now, one thing that's very important to understand is that a great circle will actually cut the Earth in half. It doesn't matter where you start it. If you follow a great circle all the way around the Earth, it's going to cut the Earth in half. Now, that's uh, important to this geometry because wherever we start our great circle line, if we start it by going east or west, it's going to actually cross the equator 90 degrees longitude difference. Okay, so if we continue that further at 180 degrees different longitude, it's going to be at an equivalent latitude in the opposite hemisphere to where we started. If we continue another 90 degrees, it's going to cross the equator again. And then if we continue another 90 degrees, it's going to match up. It's going to join up here. So it's effectively cutting the Earth in half. Remember, it starts at 90 degrees. It does not continue at 90 degrees. Therefore, it is incorrect to say that the ruler tool line on Google Earth is defining east. We'll have a look at my flight planner shortly. So here's one of my Excel based uh, flight plan calculators and this one just takes latitude and longitude of two locations and determines a distance and we can also specify how far apart we want the waypoints to be. I've just specified 100 nautical miles there. You'll see that I've entered the same locations I had marked on Google Earth which is uh, 45 south latitude right on the prime meridian and point two where it crosses the equator is uh, at 90 degrees east longitude. So there's that 90 degrees again, which is one quarter of the way of, around the Earth. If you take it all the way around the Earth, it's going to cut the Earth in half. But anyway, looking at the course calculated by this uh, calculator, the initial course is 090. Now that's what Google Earth shows us also. The initial course is 090. But because this ruler tool is plotting a great circle line, that course changes and my calculator shows that quite clearly. You'll see 100 miles later the course is 088, then it becomes 087, 085, 083 and so forth. And as we continue further away from the origin, the direction changes. Now remember what the definition of east and west was. The definition of east is 90 degrees to the right of north. So. Once we move away from that starting point on our great circle, we're no longer going east. 
and therefore it's quite uh, pointless and incorrect to say that that ruler tool is the direction of east because it's not. A great circle line changes direction. The directions of east and west are correctly displayed along these lines of latitude which are all parallel and at no point do these lines of latitude cross the equator. And we'll have a look at how that works when we're looking at the uh, equinox. So now we understand that the Google Earth ruler is drawing a great circle line and that a great circle line will change directions and therefore is not indicating true east and west. Let's take another look at this uh, equinox geometry using the lines of latitude which are actually aligned correctly east and west. Now I've got the uh, 20th of March there and we've got the Earth model oriented so that we are looking east and there's the sunrise on the equinox and you'll see it's perfectly in line with the equator which is running directly east and west. Now if we change to look at any of those other latitude lines you'll see the sun is also perfectly aligned east and west. It doesn't matter how far north or south that you travel, the sun is always going to rise 090. And the latitude lines are the correct lines we should be using to observe that. Each latitude line is running 090. They're all parallel and none of them cross the equator. So when we're talking about the direction of east, we need to be using the latitude lines. It's completely incorrect to use a line drawn by the Google Earth ruler because the direction changes from the starting point. In fact, it's like comparing apples and oranges. We all know the old saying, but anyone using the Google ruler tool and telling you it's defining the direction of east is basically telling you that that is an apple. And of course, using uh, Google Earth doesn't answer the main question, which is how does it work on a flat Earth? If the Earth actually looks like that, how are we possibly going to see the same direction for the sunrise all over the Earth on the same day? Similarly, the sunset, the direction of the sunset will be the same from all locations on the Earth on the same day. That's what needs to be explained by the flat Earth communities. How does it work on a flat Earth? There's no point using google earth because that's a sphere you need to explain how it works on a flat earth 